Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a certain company that's presenting at Palantir's AIP conference, which is going to be happening this Thursday, that when I saw on the list, I was really intrigued by the fact that they were on a list. This is a company I didn't expect to be using Palantir software, but nonetheless they are, and I think it points to the diversity of Palantir's ability to sell to different clients and also the demand from clients across the world doing a bunch of different things that are interested in Palantir. So I want to talk about who the client is, and then I want to talk about some ways in which I think they're going to be using AIP before they present on Thursday. Miller's Ale House. Let me know if you've ever eaten at one of these restaurants in the United States. They're a Florida-based American restaurant and sports bar chain, which serves steaks, chicken, burger, salads, all of that good stuff. So this is the website. Uh, I've never been to Miller's Ale House. Maybe I have, and I don't even remember. But um, it's it's very similar to Applebee's, if, the, if people are familiar with that in the United States, or Friday's. That's another kind of sports bar brand. And it's basically a burger shop, a place that sells wings, junk food, obviously drinks, and you go there with the boys, have a good time, watch the game, and you eat good food. And that's the uh, that's the gist of this company. So when they were on not just the AIP conference list in terms of companies that are doing a demo or presenting, but they're one of the keynote presentations, one of the six main companies that's going to be presenting, I thought that was interesting. And I think a couple of reasons, and then we're going to talk about why I think they're using AIP and how they're using AIP. Miller's Ale House has restaurants across the entire country. So this is one of those plays that's not like Cisco, not a big tech company, not BP with oil and gas. This is a restaurant chain that is probably trying to optimize all of their operations and use some level of data-driven insights to be able to make better decisions, become more efficient, more effective, streamline operational workflows, all that good stuff. And they're seeing some value in AIP. Now, either they had a pre-existing relationship with Palantir when it came to Foundry and the uh, ontology stuff that they probably were building a couple years ago, or this is a new client of Palantir, and maybe AIP is what got them interested in the first place to work on this stuff. More likely than not, I think Miller's Ale House wants to be more competitive with other restaurants, and in order to be competitive in this day and age, if you have an AI advantage, I mean, I've not heard of a restaurant chain using AI. I've heard some consumer-facing applications of what restaurants can do with AI, but in terms of being able to manage the overall restaurant chain, they would be pretty innovative by using AI, specifically something like AIP or LLMs, um, because you don't expect restaurants to be using those types of things. So here's some research I did, and here's a couple of different ways that Miller's Ale House could be using something like Palantir software. Uh, number one, supply chain optimization, right? So Miller's Ale House could integrate data from its suppliers, distributors, internal inventory systems, and using Palantir, they could basically predict supply needs, detect inefficiencies, and optimize procurement. All three of those things are more generic things that any restaurant could do, but if you're actually trying to build out business intelligence or a suite of business intelligence products for your restaurant, then you could do that with something like Palantir software. On top of that, when you put AIP there, now when it comes to predictive maintenance and supply chain optimization and predicting inefficiencies of what's going to happen, what's not going to happen, do we have enough wings, do we have enough potatoes for the fries, all that stuff, you could just ask an LLM. You could type that in, whether you're a distributor, a vendor, or even an employee at the restaurant, right? Like you're trying to figure out if you have uh, everything ready to go for like a long weekend, a big football weekend, you know, a lot of people are coming. What if you could type into a computer, hey, do we have enough potatoes to make fries? I mean, that's a whole different way to conceptualize operational efficiency and effectiveness on a restaurant. And I think that's something interesting for Miller's Ale House to be able to do. Uh, another thing, this is more at probably the corporate level, customer insights. By integrating point of sale data, online reviews, customer feedback, Miller's Ale House can gain deep insights into customer preference, behavior, or feedback. All of this can do a couple things. Number one, it can improve service. Number two, it can enhance the overall customer experience. So their net promoter score is uh, more it is better than you know what it currently is and better than other restaurants. And then it can also tailor menus. So like the ability for them to be able to figure out the right things to serve to customers. If, you, uh, if, you, if you're if you familiar with Applebee's and Cheesecake, I think they revise their menu every couple months just to be able to keep it fresh and interesting. The, the best things obviously stay on the menu, um, but you know they have to introduce new products so that people would buy and eat new stuff. Unfortunately, Cheesecake, got, uh, uh, Cheesecake Factory got rid of the Snickers Cheesecake, which was literally the best cheesecake of all time. And uh, they got rid of it. So like that that was one of those, you know, inefficiencies, I believe, that they shouldn't have gotten rid of it because I guess they, people aren't buying it enough, but I liked it. So that's one thing you can do when it comes to uh, operational efficiency and tailoring menus. Another thing, 
fraud detection, right? So Pouncer software can help detect unusual patterns that might indicate fraudulent activities, allowing for timely intervention. This is important just because sometimes, you know, you hire a bunch of kids and they end up stealing money. And like, you know, you have little things that go here and there in restaurants, uh, probably at a, you know, restaurant by restaurant level, if it's in not the best location and you're expecting that your profits aren't really matching up with your revenue and what's going on right here, something like fraud detection could happen from there. Uh, another couple things from corporate marketing and promotion analysis. So by analyzing the effic effic efficacy of direct marketing and promotional campaigns, Miller's Alehouse can tailor its targeting for advertising for maximum impact. Another thing is real estate and expansion strategy. Again, more at the corporate level. If Miller's Alehouse is considering expansion, they can integrate demographic data, real estate costs, competitor locations, and other relevant data to make informed decisions about where to open up new, lo new locations. All of this because you have an ontology and then on top of that, an AI-based system to be able to interact with that ontology. And then a couple of other things, health and safety, compliance, employee performance and retention, loyalty programs, especially with customers. You know, If they eat at the restaurant five times, they're able to get more stuff. How do you optimize that? to be even more effective and efficient to be able to get people to come back to the restaurant. Uh, and then crisis management, foodborne Ill illnesses, uh, negative PR events, obviously integrated data can help managers pinpoint the origins of the issues and restaurants are prone to this stuff happening. If you have one bad thing that goes viral on Twitter because some customer didn't you know, like the way they were treated at a restaurant, all of this stuff can be managed in a more effective way via data-driven operations. Now, it's not like this stuff can't happen right now with pre-existing software. The question becomes, A, are restaurants using a lot of that pre-existing software at scale to be able to just become the best version of themselves? Probably some of the top restaurants are, some of the you know mid-level restaurants aren't. Uh, like Chick-fil-A, for example, in, in the United States, I don't know what software they're using, but every single location I go to, it's the same customer experience, the same quality of food, and uh, employees just treat you really well. And a lot of that has to do with culture, but I would imagine a lot of that could be done via technology to just really standardize the operations and the feeling when you go to different restaurants. So that's one element that could be in in increased by business intelligence technology. When you add the AI angle to it, in my opinion, it's really a question of how do you remain that much better how can you differentiate, differentiate yourself that much more from a competing restaurant like an Applebee's? And I think, you know, the, the broader thesis I have before we watch what Miller Ale's presentation is going to be on Thursday for how they're using AIP, and hopefully some of the stuff I mentioned actually shows up in the pre presentation because that would be super cool, is the CEO of the company, corporate, probably realized that if they don't have an AI strategy, other restaurants will. Right. And it's like it, it, it goes to show you where the market is coming from. The diversity of candidates, you know, Sampo Insurance, big insurance company into it, big tech public under $50 billion company is going to be at AIP. The New York Stock Exchange is going to be presenting on how they're using AIP. Then you got a restaurant brand. And it goes to show you that the, the, the feeling probably in U.S. commercial is that a lot of commercial CEOs and executives are thinking, hey, if we don't have an AI strategy, like, What's the next trajectory of growth? Because if our competitors, if Applebee's, if Applebee's, if Cheesecake comes out with a huge AI strategy, they're totally digitally transforming their business. There's LLMs everywhere. Every customer is able to interact with them. Employees are able to interact with them. Corporate's able to make better decisions because of all this stuff. And they even get a couple percentage points better. People are going to eat at the places that make them feel better, that are better run. And so if you're a restaurant, AI is something that even you can embrace. And it goes to show the overarching market trajectory for every commercial enterprise and governmental enterprise in the world to be able to interact with some type of AI-based software. It's just a question of how can you tailor it to yourself. And another reason I think it's important that they're choosing Palantir is because you probably need a very specific strategy. You need some consulting to figure out how to implement AI in your business. And I don't know if the Salesforce, the Snowflakes of the world would be able to go into Miller's Alehouse Corporate and really build them a custom strategy that allows them to scale. The good thing is, if Palantir is able to do this for Miller's Alehouse, which is not the biggest restaurant brand in the world, not the biggest restaurant chain in the world, and it works, right? They have all these forward deployed engineers. They spend upfront millions of dollars to be able to come up with a custom suite of software, uh, a product's uh, within software that work for this restaurant brand, how much of that R&D can create a network effect to go to other restaurant brands, not only in America, but across the world that could potentially use something like what they built for Miller's Ale House. This reminds me of the international commercial deal Palantir launched with CNA, which is the Latin American version of H&M in America. They sell hoodies, shirts, all this stuff, very big uh, retail uh, warehouse. And, 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 and Palantir was able to build them a software via Foundry and AIP to integrate how they understand how to sell to customers, right? The, the press release talked about like understanding if these hoodies are on these shelves for too long, how can we make the quick decision to get rid of these hoodies and move on to more seasonal items? Like really just optimizing decisions. I think it's the same thing with a restaurant.
at the end of the day, they have to figure out what is selling, what's not selling, how do we streamline our business? And if Palantir can build some type of unique software for restaurants that works and it actually makes them more effective, could they sell it to other restaurants and could that be another trajectory of growth for the company? Not the biggest trajectory of growth, but nonetheless, more clients, more restaurants that are going to want to use data-driven technologies and AI, Palantir might already have a custom solution built for them because of the R&D they were able to do with Miller's Ale House. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Excited for AIP conference. I'll be live streaming it on my channel this Thursday. Super excited to see if uh, any of the stuff I talked about comes up in the presentation in terms of how they're using AIP. And uh, it'll be interesting. That's the one I'm the most excited for, quite frankly. I want to see how a restaurant's trying to use this and uh, potentially do something that's going to be pretty interesting for them. Thank you all for listening and watching. Let me know if you ever ate at this restaurant before. And I'll see you guys in the next one.